All right, haven't filmed in a while, but today feels like a good day and for good reason. So, the main reason why, this box. There's things in this box that go to my little RC car that I broke like two weeks ago. So, now that we have some parts, I'm not gonna show you what's in there yet, but we gotta make some breakfast first. Then we get to open up this box and see what's in there. So let's make some breakfast. All right, don't wanna waste too much time on breakfast. Made just super simple this morning, egg and cheese wrap. Um, really don't want to waste too much time so we can get to the box and show you guys what's inside. So, let's do this. Okay, gotta gather up the bits and pieces. Pack my bag, my box, the dirt thrasher. very lucky when I received this car that it had all the original manuals, some original parts and pieces. So that was very fortunate to acquire all those pieces. But it is time for some upgrades. Um, so the one upgrade I've already done was replace the drive shaft with a heavier duty drive shaft for the full drive system. Um, and then I also replace the motor mount with the metal motor mount because within like one day of using this thing, I destroyed the, the original motor mount. So those two things have already been done. All right. We're headed to the shop because I could do this at my house, but it's gonna be a lot easier being at the shop I work at. Well, I work at a bike shop. So we're closed during the week. We're only open on the weekends right now because it's actually like a bike park, ski resort place. Um, little place called Snowshoe if you've ever heard of it. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're headed to my bike shop because I have workbenches and all the tools I need. And it's just gonna be way easier to set up and film, I think. And just a better environment to work in. Um, simply, I mean, it's just, it's a shop. So it's gonna do a lot better than my coffee table or my kitchen counter or anywhere in my condo. So we're headed there now, but check out this view. I think this is freaking epic i don't know how well you can see it but like this is my drive to work every day all right before we get started on before we get started on the RC car, just show you guys, I work at a downhill bike shop. We rent these bad boys, uh, Specialized Demo 8s, also some Trek Sessions over here. But yeah, I get paid to take care of all of these guys, so pretty, uh, pretty big fleet of bikes. And then also we do customer bikes like this Pivot Firebird here. Um, there's two bikes in my work stand right now that need some main pivot bearings down here. Um, that one too. Uh, again, we're not open until tomorrow, so they kind of got left from last weekend. This is my workbench. Um, tool stand. All the spinny goodness. But we're actually going to work on it over here because this workbench is clear and a little bit bigger than mine. And, yep, so let's dive into this bad boy. And let's get out this box of parts real quick. Show you what we're working on. All 
All right, so what do we have here? Um, well, I guess I should go into showing you that I ripped the shock mount out on my dirt thrasher. Basically cracked the plastic right there. Um, I wanna make sure you can see this. Yeah, cracked that plastic on both sides, ripped the shock tower out, so now my front end is just like all out of whack. Um, so, when saying that, we have the new gear case, which they don't actually make that one anymore, but I believe this is the exact same parts. I decided to go with red. I thought it would look cool. Um, so that's where we're at with that. Got the pins and everything to put it back together. Um, and since I ripped that out, I figured what the heck, might as well get the new shock tower, but this, this is gonna be the rear shock tower um, to go on there and the new front shock tower as well because why not um, we also have the ball bearing kit because this has plastic bushings and they wear out so seem like the best option go with the ball bearing kit and then also some damper oil this may or may not get done today um, not really sure I I may maybe we'll see see how much time we have and how long everything else takes but the main thing I want to get done is get these bearings in and also replace the broken parts so that I can actually play with the car again and drive it um, so that's kind of a backup but these are our main this is also kind of a backup deal it may we'll see we'll see but these are the main things getting that gear case replaced swapping in the ball bearings so that we don't have to worry about wearing out the plastic and uh, getting the new front shock tower and then we'll we'll see on the rear shock tower that's kind of a that one's a little iffy but we're gonna go from there but let's tear into this thing all right now i got the top plate off you might can see this a little bit better yeah these are the screw mounts that are split apart see the crack in them, if this would focus that close. Yep, so that's what we're replacing with the red bag. Alright, got step one of the teardown complete. Uh, this piece. Yep, so as you can see, that's the spot where I broke it. And it looks like I kind of took a guess on this because they don't actually make parts for this exact model but um, to me it has a couple other models that were made on the same chassis so kind of took a shot in the dark and a guess but these parts actually match up and the main difference between these parts and my parts are going to be the shock mount so my shock mount as you can see is much taller than this one it's designed for a touring car not a buggy which is why I decided to go with the aluminum just to have something a little bit stronger and also to not because this I knew this one wasn't gonna fit I could tell from the pictures so we'll have that extra I mean I guess eventually I could set it up as like a touring car kind of chassis which would be kind of fun maybe for another video but, um, yep, so we're going to proceed. Um, from the factory, this is what your wheel and bearing, like your wheel spins on, like it's a little plastic kind of bushing. They're meant to last for quite a while and they're not bad, but if you get dirt in there, it, um, it really chews up the plastic. It can actually chew up the metal axle and everything too. Um, just not super durable. Like you can see this one here, it's, it's probably worn pretty good. I mean, it's already got a lot of dirt and grime in there. Um, so I'm going through and replacing all these with like ball bearings 
Um, these actually spin a lot better. They're a lot more durable. Just kind of generally last a lot longer for this car. Um, and I know it's nothing like, not some special car, nothing like super high performance, but it's still in good shape. And I don't really want to ruin it just because I didn't like take the time to do this. Like, it, it, it's a small little project to just save myself some trouble in the long run. And to just make the car last longer. I mean, overall it's in really good shape and I hate to destroy it, you know. So, we're going to get these pressed in there. This is so much easier than working on a mountain bike where you need big tools to do this kind of project, which is what I'm doing on Thursday when I come back into it. Yeah, so I just found another problem. Um, maybe you can see, but there's like a crack in these steering arms. Um, so eventually I'm going to have to go back and replace these, but seems like they're holding pretty good for now. I think I'm going to actually drop some super glue on them and just kind of run them till they break. Probably go ahead and order some and just let these run till they actually snap off. Alright, turn the GoPro off for a little while. It was like, felt like it was starting to overheat almost. Um, but anyways, while that was cooling down, got the front end bolt finished up. I uh, just got to put the bumper on. But we got the full shock tower, a whole new front gear casing. Um, everything's back together. Really like this new aluminum shock mount. Came with a lot better, like nicer bolts little bushings and everything to help keep the parts from wearing out. Just took it out, did a little test run. I'm gonna do a video when I get back to my parking lot. Um, which, oh no, you know what? We gotta jump it down the stairs with the camera actually. That'll be awesome. So, um, yeah, it's actually working now. Everything feels good. It, I think it's actually faster than it used to be because it's got better wheel bearings in it now. Um, it's hard to say exactly because there's no real way to like measure how fast an RC car goes, at least not within reason. Um, I don't have means to do that. I'm sure it's it's possible, but anyways, um, it does, it definitely seems faster. Whether it is or not, that's, that's hard to we say. One thing now, it's a slight fitment issue with my body mount. I wonder if that one sets lower, maybe. 